Sit and Church Online. My name is Purity. I'm excited just to have you come and watch this video at this particular point in time. In today's video, I have just come to encourage somebody that is very discouraged, very distressed, and you just came on, you just opened your social media page looking for hope, looking for a word that would lift you from distress, that would lift you from your depressive state, that would give you hope, that would just bring some sense in your hopeless and helpless situation. And I would like us to read the word of God together from the book of Psalm chapter 42 all the way from verse 1. And let's hear what God is saying to you even as you're looking for help, you're looking for relief from your distress, from your trouble. The psalmist says, as the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thus for God, for the living God. Where, when shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God, with a voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept a pilgrim feast. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of Jordan and from the heights of Hamon, from the hill Miza. Deep calls unto deep at the noise of your waterfalls. All your waves and billows have gone over me. The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime and in the night his song shall be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning before because of the oppression of the enemy? As with the breaking of my bones, my enemies reproach me. While they say to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. You are watching this video and you're saying, tears have been my food. You identify with the psalmist. The psalmist gets to a point where they can even not go to the uh, place of worship anymore. They cannot enjoy the sound of joy anymore because their bones are crushed because of the troubles that have come around them. And you're watching this video and you're saying, I am at a point whereby tears have become my food. I have this child that has been wayward. And every time we are just called to pick them by the roadside because they were found drunk and were collected by the police. You have this wayward spouse, husband or wife that has deserted the marriage and they're out there with, with uh, other people. You are there, you're watching this video and you're saying, the tears have become my, my food because my job, my livelihood has been cut off. I have just lost my job, which goes with status, which goes with even the vehicles that you are given. Maybe you're a government official, security has been withdrawn. Maybe you lost a loved one in a road crash. You have gone through a very terrible season and you are just coming uh, on social media platform to find relief. I want to remind you like the psalmist says, he is the God that gives a song in the night. My prayer for you is that God will give you a song in the night. Night moments are very distressful. Some of them are times where you feel like you want to actually give up on life, give up on people, your loved ones have turned their back on you, people that you trusted have backstabbed you, and your life is not the same again, even at the, your place of work. Those moments that are almost like night and darkness, moments 
of darkness in your life, God will give you a song in the night. He does that. That is his specialization. Why? Because his loving kindness is better than life. He identifies with your pain more than the person that you think is closest to you in life. He knows where you're at right now. More than your spouse, more than your children, more than your parents, more than your closest pastor that you think is your good pastor. God is so close by right now. When you feel like giving up, do not take away your life because God has a good plan out of the situation that you're going through right now. It actually may not seem as such. Why? Because when the uh, dark moments of the soul come, when it's night in your life, it is very difficult. When people are blaming you, when family members have written you off, when you have a sick child, you, when you have just been given a terminal illness report, very difficult. It is not easy to really identify with what I'm talking about. But the truth is, God is so close by at such moments. And he's saying, I will give you, I will give you a song in the night. That is my prayer for you. I pray that God lifts your spirit. I pray that he gives you hope. I pray that he answers your prayer. I pray that he gives you a livelihood that you're able to to live a decent life to the glory of your name. I pray that you can say like the, the psalmist in the last verse of uh, 11 of Psalm chapter 42 that for I will, I shall yet praise him for the help of my countenance is my God. I pray that whatever situation that you're going through right now will lead you to that point where you will be able to say I will yet praise this God because he is the help of my countenance. He is the lifter of my burdens. He is the lifter of my, my soul. May your heart be encouraged. I pray for you and with you that God will intervene. God will come through and give you answers to the many life questions and even the ones that you don't receive, you will be hopeful in him. I want to pray for somebody that needs help from God right now that you will just connect with the source of life that whatever is dead in your life will come alive shall we pray together our Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus we bless you we lift you we praise you because you do not speak your word in vain and once your word has come out it accomplishes what you sent it out to do thank you for your word to your people at this particular point, oh God, whatever is breaking their hearts, whatever has taken away their hope, whatever is causing them to feel like killing themselves, I pray in Jesus' name that you deal with it, that you take over their lives, that you send them help from your throne, that your grace will be poured out in a special way. Heal diseases, provide for those in lack, Reconcile those whose lives have been torn apart. Restore them. We thank you because when we pray, you hear us and answer us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I know somebody's life has been changed. I have no doubt about that because God is in the business of putting his people's lives together. He rejoices when he restores his people. So if you've been watching this video, you can actually send us requests, prayer requests, counseling requests at the inbox section, and we are going to respond and help you, schedule you for counseling sessions, which are, by the way, free of charge. And thank you for watching. You can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for you to be able to receive real-time messages every time we are speaking to you, every day in the morning and the evening. My name is Spirity. Thank you for watching.